Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. Well, here we are on the final section of the practice exam paper on the very last page, page 62 of the Discovering Music Theory Grade 1 workbook. And here we have the opportunity to look at a section of music and analyse exactly what's going on and answer some questions relating back to this. So we have to kind of be observant as to what the composer has given us or given the performer as it were because remember this is to be played and we're just dissecting what's going on really this is where it's so fab to just peel back the layers of the music so here we have a piece of music that's in the bass clef we have a key signature of B flat so there's a clue to something and we have a time signature we have tempo directions we have dynamic markings and we have articulation markings and I think it would be a great idea to just have a go, test yourself, let's see what we've remembered and what needs a little bit of extra revision. It doesn't matter if you go wrong, we can always just erase it out and have another go. So I'm hoping that you've had a go of this yourself and now let's just see what this music has to offer us. So the first question asks us to circle, is it true or false, that the melody gets gradually louder towards the end. So let's look at the melody towards the end. So we're looking in these final bars. And this is our big clue, diminuendo, which would look like this as a symbol. And we can see from the root word it's diminishing, it's getting quieter. So, And that's happened through the whole of this last line actually. We've gone from loud to moderately loud and then that's like a step down and then gradually it's faded away to mezzo piano moderately quiet. So does the music get louder towards the end gradually? No it doesn't, it gets quieter, quite the opposite in fact. We need to tick the bar number out of these options that contains all the notes of the tonic triad of F major. So let's just think, what is it that we're actually looking for? So in F major, F is the tonic, and the tonic triad is built up of the first, the third, and the fifth degrees of the scale. And so F is one, then G is two, A, is three, B flat of course because of the key signature is four and then C is five, F, A, C. So we're looking for a bar that has all of those notes, not necessarily in that order. So let's just start scanning through. So we have bass clef, good boys to do football, F, A, but no C. We have an A and a C and an A, but no F. A, C, A, but no F. We have an A and an F, but no C. We've got to have all of the notes. We have a C and an A, but no F. Keep searching. We have an A, but no F or C. We have an A, an A, a C and an A, that's no, is it there? Let's have a look, A, A, no, that's not there. So right at the very end, we must find it here. We have a C, we have an A and we have an F. Final at the end, patience proves 
worthwhile for eight. So here we have the answer. Let's continue. We need to complete the following three sentences by taking just one box for, box for each. Dear me. So the longest note in the melody. So let's look. What is? Don't get sidetracked here. Let's just find out what it is first and then we can check off the correct box. So we've got a minim. That's the longest so far. Still just a minim. Each time that's the longest note. And so the longest note in any case is a minim, a two beat note. Bar three has the same pitch. So the same note pitches, the same note names. Let's have a look. So what does bar three have? We have an A, G, A, and you know, just as a glance, let's look. A, G, A, B flat, C, A, B flat. It actually has the same pitch and the same rhythm. It's exactly the same. However, we're just concerned with pitch. And so bar three has the same pitch as bar seven. And finally, we're asked to look what's the letter name of the lowest note in the melody. Remember, we're in the bass clef. So visually, let's find the lowest. So on line one, F is the lowest. Does it go any lower? So, so far, this is the lowest. F is, ah, now here, this is the lowest. We've gone one step lower here. So again, on the very penultimate note, we need to persevere and keep looking to the end. And here we're in the bass clef, all cows eat. That's a letter name, E. And that's that completed. That's that page completed. That's that section completed. It's the book completed. And whoopee, it's the end of the exam. Congratulations, well done. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. And for advert free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.